Hey, I'm Jocelyn and we are in Idaho and I thought we would go over all the great foods that we've encountered here in Idaho because it's not just potatoes. Although it wouldn't be a trip to Idaho if you didn't talk about potatoes. And first and foremost on the potato list isn't just mashed potatoes and baked potatoes, it's tater tots. I don't know why, but tater tots are a big thing here. But we've had great potatoes in all their very forms and they're really wonderful. But the bigger treat that we found while we were here are huckleberries. They have huckleberry ice cream, huckleberry jam, huckleberry sauces. They even have huckleberry gummy bears. And I'm a huge fan of gummy everything, so huckleberry gummy bears are kind of my jam right now. Huckleberries even go into drinks. They have huckleberry pop. It's not soda here, it's pop. And huckleberry ice creams, I swear to you, Mark has had a huckleberry ice cream. And you have to have it when you're here. Period, end of story. You can also get it in a milkshake form. It's awesome, just, just letting you know. Shut up, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> he does love those huckleberry milkshakes. Anyway, that's not all there is. They also have these wonderful little treats called Idaho Spuds. And this is great. It's like some marshmallow and there's chocolate and coconut on it, but it looks like an actual potato and they're really tasty. The kids love them, I love them. So try finding one of these when you're in Idaho. So another treat that you'll find here is potato ice cream. No, it is not ice cream with potatoes. It is ice cream that's been frozen in the shape of a potato and then they roll it in cocoa powder and so it looks like you're eating a potato but really you're having ice cream which I think is hilarious and also really tasty. So let's get to meat and potatoes kind of foods, no pun intended. So another thing you have to try when you're in Idaho are finger steaks. It's basically just a piece of steak that's been sliced off, breaded, fried, it's got a little bit of parmesan on this one. Um, and sometimes they give you some um, fry sauce which is just ketchup and mayonnaise put together, kind of mixed up. Um, other places, like the place we got our food tonight, gives you cocktail sauce. I really like them with fry sauce, big fan. Um, we'll try it with some cocktail. That's not bad. Not just, like homemade cocktail sauce with some real horseradish in it, but kind of overpowers the steak. So, I don't know. Can't decide which way I'd go, but very Idaho. So on to the meats. Bison is a big thing here, and I bison steaks are not terribly different than a regular beef steak. Pretty similar, a little more chewy sometimes. I actually really like bison as a hamburger. I don't know why, but it has more flavor, and it's just it's really good stuff as a hamburger. As a steak, it's fine. I probably don't love it as much as I love a beef steak, but it's a pretty good substitute. And um, but the hamburger. Man, that one's good. I also need to say that there is a lot of beef. There are like plenty of steaks on every menu we've looked at, like several different types of steaks and they have huge steaks. It was actually hard for me. I usually get like a petite six ounce filet or, or something, you know, small, smaller order. And it's been hard for me to find those. They're usually pretty darn big, like massive T-bones and things. 16 ounce ribeyes. Be prepared, there's a lot of meat and it's all really good. They also have really great, great trout, salmon, and halibut. So those are the three main fish that we've found here. If you're out fishing, you're gonna probably be fishing for trout, generally speaking, if you're fly fishing. And I will go into some fly fishing stuff in another video, because I'm gonna do that here too. So two other meats that may you may see pop up occasionally are lamb and elk. I'm half Greek, and so lamb is my jam. I didn't mean to rhyme. <laughs> but lamb is so good and I found it in all different ways with garlic, with mint sauce, whatever. But it's been, it's been around on several menus, really tasty stuff. Elk too is good and it's different than either bison or beef. A little less tender, but still, still pretty close to like what you think of when you, when you get beef, particularly when it's in meatballs and hamburger and things like that. So those are some of our favorite eats in Idaho. I hope that you guys get here because it is lovely and it's not just potatoes. Although they do make some fun potato things or things that look like potatoes. So when you're here, try as much as you can. See you later.